Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. New York State Audit back at it again. And we're in Gilderland, New York at the Gilderland Town Hall. And we're here to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to record in public in publicly accessible areas. So while we're here, as usual, we're gonna do our FOIA request for the first and last names, titles, and salaries to all Gilderland Town Hall employees. I'm probably gonna take a look at their annual budget as well. Looks like we got the fire department responding to a call. All right, so there's quite a few buildings here. So I'm not really sure where to go because I believe, uh, as you saw in the sign, there's a justice court here. So I believe in that direction might be the police department. So let's check out and see what this area is first. So I don't see any signs. Okay, this looks like it's National Grid. All right, so we don't need to go over here. We have a sign right in front of us that says authorized personnel only. make our way to the front of what I believe could be the police station so we'll see Sorry about the angle, I dropped my sunglasses. All right, let's check out the flags that they have. So this bell from 1882 AD, that's an old bell. All right, so I believe well, I don't know what to believe to be honest yet, but I know this is for employees only. See, see the sign. So that's for the town court, the old Dillon town court. So 
So this is another area that's for employees only. You can tell with the card reader. Looks like uh, one of the ladies came over to take a peep. So this is the police station. Let's continue our way to the town hall. Well, actually, I think that was the door. The door that says, uh, the town court, where it had the town court sign. I believe that is the town hall. So we're gonna go in there. So it looks like they, they left the car running. Well, I guess whoever's privacy that was, officer didn't do a good job keeping it private. This is police car three. All right, so I'm looking around. I don't see any signs that say restricted area, no trespassing or anything like that. So we already know what kind of car this is. Little detective, little unmarked vehicle. And here's another unmarked vehicle. You guys can see that. Yep, I'm all set. Can I get your name and badge number, please? Officer Myers. Officer Myers, badge number? 06. 06. Thank you. Have a good day. So this is Officer Miles Meyer, excuse me, assigned vehicle, number 11. Definitely got some water there, which is very important. All right, so we're gonna take a quick look at the uh, rest of this parking lot, and then head over to the town hall. So if they have part 29 and part 131 of the United, or excuse me, New York State Unified court system. So they have a uh, pretty much law. It's 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 law uh, that the New York State judge 
had ordered. So if they have that, then I cannot, for sure, I cannot film uh, in the courtroom or the hallways or corridors. But we're going to, this says employees, oh, empty envelopes. <laughs> You know what? I misread that horribly. All right, so let's go in here. Whew. It's a little warm outside. Okay. Um, not at the moment. I'm, I'm sorry, uh, I, don't, I don't really see why I would need to turn it off. Uh, Mask, who I'm speaking to? I am the receptionist. Yes, and your name? Uh, what are you. <clears throat> Excuse me. What is it that you're asking for or taking? I am asking for your name just since you, cause you asked uh, if I needed any help. I just was gonna direct you if you need to go somewhere in particular. Um, I'm not sure exactly if I need to go anywhere particular at the moment. Okay. Um, may I ask who I'm speaking with? Um, the receptionist for the Gilderwood Town Hall. Yes, can I get your name, please? Mary. Mary? Nice to meet you, Miss Mary. Nice to meet you as well. Is there a reason why you're holding the paper up? Because you have a something that appears to be a camera. Okay. And I don't know why you have that, so. I would just assume not have you have that. You would assume that I, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't get. Hmm? I said I would just prefer you not hold a camera on me because I don't know who you are or why you're holding it. <laughs> oh, so uh, if you would, what, I don't, I'm, how could I uh, make you more, I don't know, comfortable or ease your mind? By putting the camera down. Oh, I, I apologize, I can't do that. Okay, can I help you? Can I direct you to somewhere? Oh, no, not at the moment. But if uh, if so, I'll come back, Miss Mary. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. Do you have a business card by any chance, Miss Mary? I do not, unfortunately, no. Oh, okay, I didn't. I didn't see any either. Awesome. Oh, I can't see anything in here. So there's no signs that say restricted or anything like that. So let's turn on a couple of lights so I can show you guys how it looks. I'll make sure I turn them off. Okay, so when you would speak, you speak from right here, naturally. see an office nobody's in there at the moment looks like they got a little kitchen
Is everything okay, Miss Mary? I overheard you on the phone. Everything is fine, yeah. That's my job, just to answer the phone. It's a beautiful building here. Is there anything you could uh, let me know about the building? No. That is a wonderful place to work. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. You have a great day. I will try. You do the same. All right, so I don't see any signs saying restricted area or anything. I'm not even sure what this is, to be honest. So public defender. District attorney. Town justices. This is, appears to be like a closet. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, he wasn't saying good morning to me. I had to catch myself. All right, so this is the town court. Okay. Yes. Oh, interesting. They're locking doors. So let's take a look. Can I help you or are you just videotaping everything? I'm just walking around okay. documenting my experience. Uh, can I get your name, please? Huh? Since you made contact with me, may I have your name? No, that's okay. Thank you. I actually would like your name. If you're a public servant, I'm entitled to your name, so do you mind? No. Well, can I speak to your supervisor? Sure. May I speak to your supervisor, please? Excuse me, we have yes. A yeah, I'm a customer as well. Yeah. I'm can I I help yes, of course. Uh, can I get her name, please? Because she was just talking her to name me. Is Sharon. Sharon? Yes. I'm sorry, can you say it again? Sharon. Sharon. Okay. Okay, and, and you are? I'm Mary. Mary. Nice okay. to meet you, Miss Mary. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay, I just have to help somebody. Thank you. Miss Sharon from the court clerks. I guess she feels like she doesn't need to identify herself to a member of the public. Interesting. Right, so we're gonna head upstairs. Because if I remember correctly, that's where the supervisor is. Anybody who likes uh, rocks or crystals, if 
feel free to correct me on what they are. So here's the resources. He's in that direction along with the supervisor. As you can see, employees only, so we cannot go in there. But I'll give you a shot of them inside. All right. They're busy working, which is awesome. A little reminder for everyone. So that's information about a quilt Supervisor's office look like the secretary. Their name is Jessica Montgomery. And what it looks. Uh, oh, sorry about the shakiness. I have bad nerves. I can't help it. All right. So it doesn't say what this. This room is. I can only assume. So this is the assessor. I guess you can, can you let me know what you guys do here? We're the assessor's office and handle the assessments for the town of Yorba. Okay, like, uh, so what, what tasks do you specifically take care of? The assessments. Okay, like? The house values. Okay, so what, yeah. so, okay, the house values? Yep, we do the deeds for the town, I mean, I handle the deed change, we handle the exemptions, we handle assessments. Oh yeah, that's what I meant. I, yeah, I, yeah the, I wanted the details of yep, exactly what you did. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Are you Miss uh, Heather? Nope, I'm the assessment clerk up front. Okay. Assessor okay, assessor okay uh, you're the assessment clerk. And your name? Stephanie, nice to meet you, Miss Stephanie. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If I was to ask anything, awesome. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So this is the receiver of taxes. Lynn M. Buchanan. And this is their card. So this is what they're doing in this section. Um, receiver of taxes. Um, why is that? I don't. I don't really see the. Oh, I'm. Well, I'm actually documenting documenting my my uh, experience here. Okay. So. I'd ask that you please. And who's who's asking? And your name and title? Yeah, I could give you that. But it's yeah, actually, you do if you're a public servant. Yeah, and a citizen's asking you, yeah. yeah. So then your policy. Unless yeah, you're going to. Are you going to break your policy or. Can you please put your phone down? Can you please tell me your name? I will not. Can you please tell me your name? Well, I'll reach out to the police department. To the who? Police department? Wow. Interesting. So I want to say that's Miss Tracy. No, excuse me. That is not Miss Tracy. 
She came from this direction. Well, if I still have my business, I'd be doing the same thing. Well, what people don't realize, the thing that was said over it is that the uh, vendor is uh, paying for their uh, stock. I wonder if this is, uh, I hope not. Excuse me, ma'am. So we'll go over here real quick. Oh, I almost missed something. Which is very important, in my opinion, the Girl Scouts. So that's the town clerk. So once the gentleman is finished, then I head over to the town clerk. Building, planning, and zoning, or excuse me, fire prevention as well. So as you can tell, this is an employee's only door. And before I leave, I gotta remember to turn off the lights because I definitely forgot to turn off the lights. So things don't go through. I'm referring to the room downstairs. So restrooms. Employees only. So I'm not sure what this room is. So he's hiding. I think he's just being fun though. All right, so since we're still waiting, because there's someone in line, we're gonna make our way downstairs, uh, turn off the lights and then come back up. Hopefully he'll be done. Sounds like they're wrapping it up, so it's pretty much perfect timing. Oh, there's Miss Mary getting her papers ready. Oh, okay. I think they turned them off. I wanted to make sure. Yep. Yep, they did. Perfect. I actually forgot to turn them off. So it was very nice of someone to actually do that. So let's go back to the window since the gentleman should be done from what I overheard. If not, we'll just get in line. Thank you, 
Excuse me. Yes. Um, hello, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm, I've been better. Okay. Um, are you Miss Lynn Buchanan? I am. So you are the town clerk? I am. Okay. Yes. Um, I wanted to discuss uh, Tammy Kennedy. Okay, I can actually see her name now. So that, that's Miss Tammy Kennedy? It is. And what is her title here? She's the deputy town clerk. Deputy town clerk. Okay. Um, hmm. Can I get uh, a FOIA request? Paper form, please. Sure. And as well, I would like to look at the annual budget. Okay. Yep. Here's that. Thank you very much. And uh, I wanted to discuss uh, Miss Tammy Kennedy's behavior. Okay. Uh, I was trying to have a cordial conversation with her, and she kept demanding that I uh, put my camera down. Okay. Okay. So I, I'm. Not really sure what's what her issue is. She has a um, issue. Well, no, she clearly does. Because uh, after I asked her her name and her title, and she wouldn't identify herself. Okay. And last time I checked, uh, that would be a violation of your policy. Okay, I'll discuss it with her. Okay, I appreciate that. Look at the budget one moment. Yes. Um, this has your email, correct? It does. That way I can uh, file a formal complaint. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. So this is Miss Buchanan's card. So you can see her name is Tammy Kennedy. You can also see the date. as well as the treatment. All right, so I'll show you in a moment. Thank you so much.
All right, so that's what I got for you. Miss Kennedy? Can I get your assistance, please? Sure. I would like a uh, stamped photocopy of this, please. Thank you so much. I'll be There's your budget. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Oh, how unfortunate. No smiles for me. All right. So we got the copy. I'm going to head downstairs. Have a good day, Miss Mary. Thank you. You do the same. Enjoy the beautiful weather out there. Yeah, I'm going to try. Um, you've got a nice personality. I'm not sure why you wouldn't want to be on camera. I don't like anybody. Not even my own family is allowed to take my picture. I'm very camera shy. Well, that's unfortunate with a, with a nice personality like that. Well, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Have a good day. Stay cool. Thank you. Okay, so let's head over to the police station since it's right next door. All they had to do was take a walk over here because I know Miss Kennedy called the police because I heard her on the phone. But uh, I guess she didn't know that I've already uh, dealt with the police in the parking lot prior to going in. Okay. So all visitors must push button for access. Interesting. Hmm. Well, let's do it. Can I help you? Yeah, I just needed to get into the lobby. Sure, come on in. Thank you. Serving since 1972. 
dropped my paper. I apologize. All right, so we have, this is the evidence and recovered property. It's, oh, never mind. <laughs> it doesn't say what it is at all. It just says who to call. So here's their mission statement. Well, the mission statement definitely sounds good, for sure. So, please ring the bell. No, we don't think we need to. He's smart. He's uh, keeping the lights off. Keeps it more cool. He's definitely busy. So you can see we're not allowed there. The card reader. Oh, don't want to miss this. Um, it's too blurry. All right. So before we go upstairs to check out what they, they have, this is just the bathroom. Utility closet, utility, I say utility. <laughs> the utility closet, can't even speak right now. Yep, so we'll definitely have to go upstairs because all these, uh, these doors are for employees only. All right, let's check it out. Oh, that's where. Okay, before I go upstairs, I, did, I didn't even notice because I could be blind sometimes. So this is the window that you will go to for information or complaints. Hopefully we won't have to visit that window. So far the officers have shined. Uh, but the Gilderland Town Hall employees, some of them have not. Okay. Have you seen one of those locks? That's old. Let's take a quick drink. That water tasted horrible. All I, all I could taste is the pipes. Oh man. Oh. Oh, the pain. The pain is real. Oh man. I gotta make a mental note. Do not drink the water again. So pictures of the various versions of the Gilderland police vehicles. Oh, hey, officer. You sh shouldn't be walking behind uh, citizens like that. Can I get your name and badge number? Can I get your name and badge number, please? Wow. The professionalism. No, I'm just gonna walk away from you. We'll hold it against you, though. Okay, so. Looks like we got a ballistic vest from 1988 little information about that. Pretty cool. So as you can tell, we are not allowed in there, but we can see, at least see what they're doing.
Hi. Can I help you? Um, I'm not sure yet. What do you guys do here? Um, like, we provide records and reports. For the police department? Yep, like accident reports. Okay, yeah, I didn't, reports. I didn't see uh, a sign for exactly what you guys... Oh, uh, here. Oh, okay, I see. All right, so this is specifically for what you guys do? Yep, a okay. All right, so what is the name of this location? Uh, the chief's office. The chief. Oh, so this is the chief's office. Yeah. Awesome. And what's the uh, chief's name? Chief McNally. McNally. Awesome. And uh, what is your name and your title here? Christine. Christine. I'm the clerk. You're the clerk. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah. That. I guess the sign right there tells me practically everything I would need to know. Yeah. From what it looks like. Uh, is there anything that it doesn't say that I'm that I could uh, could use? No. That's it. Awesome. Um, well, it would be more awesome if there was more information, but... Oh. Do you have uh, any business cards for I the chief? I don't. The chief's business... He's not in, so I can't get into his office to get okay. a card. Okay. Um, oh, that's unfortunate. I don't have do, a business card. My oh, card. do you think you could write it down for me? Is it virtual window? Uh, do you think you could write it down for me? Write down what? His, his, uh, his email. His email? Yes, because that's what we, you know, and his number and, you know, just any contact information. Yep. First and last name, I would Dan appreciate it. McNally. Dan the man, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and it's McNally D at gpdny.org. And he's 356-1980. Extension 10, 1038. Okay. 1030. All right. Um, question. Who would I go to uh, to give compliments? Would I use the, the uh, chief of police's email? Yeah, or? or there's uh, on our website, I believe, there's a general email, I believe. Can you, you think you could write that down for me? I'm sorry. I just, you know, uh, I've been treated nice since That's I've been here. Be Gilderland. At least in this, this uh, building. <laughs> <laughs> pd.org awesome thank you so much well that's and there's also information on that website how to get you know fill out a foil request that's to the town clerk's office okay this year we're celebrating our 50 year anniversary this one right here awesome yeah and when is there's this there's going to be a display at the altamont fair also celebrating our 50th anniversary and do you know the date of that Cause... i think the fair starts today the altamont fair oh okay awesome yeah oh, perfect i see you have some information there too all right yeah i appreciate that okay. thank you have You're a good welcome. day have a good day just gotta watch your back just gotta watch them. It's the quiet ones that you gotta watch out for. That's what they say, right? All right, so we're gonna head out. Wrap this video up. Let me see the sign actually. So this is a 40th anniversary collage. Okay. Cool. All right, so let's not drink the water again. Steph, ooh, the fountain just reminded me of the suffering I endured. So we'll head on out. All right. So, I wasn't really intentionally going, well, I didn't intend, excuse me, to go to uh, the police station, but, you know, it was right next door. Uh, Miss Kennedy called them on me, so I figured I'd just do one better and just go to them. But, as you can tell, the police officers didn't come. I came over here because I noticed that this vehicle is still here, on. And it's been almost an hour, all right? I've already been filming for almost 55 minutes now. And this vehicle has been on that whole time. 
I don't know. You know, I know some people say, uh, you know, when it comes to having a canine in the vehicle, you know, I, I respect that. You know, you want to have the car on. But, you know, there's people that are going to say, oh, they needed to keep their equipment powered. Okay, I could, I would be able to understand that if at night, right, if they park the cars at night and everything is off. The next day, they still, the car still runs. There's no power issues or anything like that. So to me, there's no excuse. If you don't have a, a canine in the vehicle, turn the vehicle off if you're not using it. So I don't really get the, the uh, someone's point when they would say, you know, they use it for uh, the, the devices that they have inside the car. I get it to a certain extent. But if you turn the car off, you know, you don't have to worry about any devices or anything. If you want to, you know, look at it that way, there's many ways to look at it. But I just wanted to point that out because it's been almost an hour. And I'm going to wrap this video up. Make my way back over to the front of the town hall. But if you like this video, smash that like button. Helps with the YouTube algorithm and all that good stuff. Hit the share button so we can expose the good, the bad, and the ugly. As always, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it so much. To all the, the, the people who's been there, to subscribers that have been there since day one, you know, thank you. All the new subscribers, thank you so much. You know, I appreciate the love and support. I really do. Without you guys, I can only do so much. But I'm willing to do whatever it takes for you guys, for myself, for we the people. So if you can't get out there and visit these places, I'll do it for you. You know, whatever the issue may be, whatever the condition may be, you know, everybody, everybody's paying taxes. We, so if you can't get out there, I got your back. Don't worry about that. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. Take care of one another. And I'm going to see you guys next time.